everyone and welcome here. My name is Heather aka Hey Hey Crochet and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a pair of fingerless gloves. The pattern for these I actually created so long ago. It's the first ever pattern I ever wrote out because I was making a lot of them as gifts at one time. It's a very wonky pattern. I mean, not now, it's been perfected, but the way I wrote it out was wonky. I was thinking about it because, you know, fingerless gloves are always very popular this time of year. And I was thinking, I was like, I remember making a pattern a long time ago. I wonder if I still have that notebook that I put it in. I found it, it the page is actually torn out. But I wrote this baby back in 2016. So she's pretty old, but she still, she still works. The makeup of these gloves are going to be very simple. Just some single crochet ribbing for the cuff in this top part. And this part is called Even Moss Stitch. So it's really fun to play with. It works up very fast. I probably made both of these in about four or five hours. So that also makes them a great like last minute gift. I'm very excited to share with you guys my first ever pattern that I ever wrote out. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, what you will need is a four millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a darning needle that I don't have with me right now, and then of course your yarn. So we will be working this glove. You want to start off by making a slip knot. And then chaining 31. After you have 31 stitches, you are going to work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then work one single crochet into the next three chains. And now we will be working what is called the even moss stitch. And what you're going to do in the next 14 stitches, you're going to alternate between working a slip stitch in one stitch and then a half double crochet into the next. And you're just going to alternate between those two stitches for 14 stitches. And on every even moss stitch row, like when you come to that section in the glove, you always start with a slip stitch and always end on a half double crochet. So we'll work a slip stitch, then a half double crochet into the next, then a slip stitch, and a half double crochet into the next. And see, I started on a slip stitch and I'm ending on a half double crochet. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. I mean, the next 12 chains. Okay, now for row two, turn your work, chain one, and work one single crochet into the first stitch, and then work one single crochet into the back loop only of the next 11 stitches. So instead of working through both loops, 
we will only be working into the back loop. So one single crochet into the back loop only for the next 11 stitches. This will create the ribbing for the cuff of your fingerless glove. And now we will work the even moss stitch for the next 14 stitches again. And like I said, always start on a slip stitch and end on a half double crochet. For the even moss stitch, you work through both loops. So slip stitch. Half double And now we will work one single crochet into the back loop only of the next three stitches. And then work one normal single crochet into the last stitch. Four, row three, turn your work and chain one. Then work one normal single crochet into the first stitch. And then work one single crochet into the next three stitches, but working in the back loops only. Repeat the even moss stitch pattern for 14 stitches. Always start on a slip stitch. And in the even moss pattern on a half double crochet. Now I'm working my last half double crochet. And then work one single crochet into the back loop only of the next 11 stitches. And then work one normal single crochet into the last stitch. Now you will just need to repeat rows two and three until this piece is long enough to wrap around the palm of your hand. I will be working a total of 34 rows because that's what I did for this one. But if your hands are bigger or smaller, you might have to do more or less rows. Here are my 34 rows. It is enough to connect and wrap around my palm. But after you have it as long as you need, fasten it off and then we will seam it together. How I seamed up this glove is I seamed 14 stitches from the bottom and eight stitches from the top but you can seam more or less stitches together depending on how much room you need for your thumb. I left a tail here so, so I can use that for seaming. So 
So I'm just going to go through the first stitches on each end. I'm going to go through that one more time. After you're done seaming just tie and, and then weave in the end and then do the same for the bottom again I seamed 14 stitches up from the bottom after I'm done seaming I like to flip it inside out and there you go now repeat that for your second glove I have both of mine but yeah these take probably for both of them about four to five hours so you can make them in one day which makes them great gifts for a loved one or for yourself and that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you love your new fancy little fingerless gloves and now we can be twins if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what other types of videos and tutorials you would like to see from me i hope you have a beautiful wonderful great rest of your day bye